welcome to the awakening. <laughs> That's better. Before it had a delay on it. Well, today, as I say, you know me. It's me again. <laughs> and um, I just decided I wanted to wear something different today to do the awakening today uh, in my own natural color, which is redhead, or well, not redhead, brunette, with a little bit of red in it. But um, it's very interesting that I actually chose to wear this wig today because this wig belonged to Joe in Little Women, you know, feisty Joe in Little Women. Uh, years and years ago, I did um, a short presentation of Little Women for Moving On TV. And uh, this was the wig that Joe wore. Feisty Joe. Do you see the connection? Do you see the synchronicity? I'm working with a lot of synchronicity at the moment. Synchronicity is everywhere. And one of the things I'm noticing is how things are coming together. And isn't it interesting that today I'm presenting the awakening program and tomorrow morning I've got to get up and interview one of the biggest heroes of our time, I feel, a beautiful hero who's in Vietnam at the moment. And he's bringing the Falun Gong tragedy to the world. Uh, Mitchell David Gerber, a very brave young man. Actually, he, he shares the same name with my second cousins, my mother's first cousin, were Gerber, which is interesting. And he's been there for 20 years, doing everything he can to highlight the tragedy of Falun Gong which is something we need to know, which is something we need to learn. And uh, he's going to tell me more tomorrow. So, wearing this wig, Joe is wig, Joe who had the guts to go out there and to say what she wanted to say. She was the gutsy one in Little Women, the one that didn't pull any punches. It's very interesting because we're talking about the awakening. And I am now pulling you into the darkness to show you, giving you tough love to wake you up, to bring you into the light. There's no more playing around with this. We need to go plunge into the darkness. Now, someone said to me that I'm very tired. And yes, I am very tired. I feel like I'm doing a lot of work, not getting a lot of results yet, but hopefully at least one or two of you are getting something from this or getting some kind of awakening or taking time out to do your research. Thanks to what I'm putting out there. That's enough for me. I'm not looking for glory <laughs> like my name. I'm not looking for money, but donations are nice because it helps me do more programs, helps me get another editor. So I can do more programs for you. It helps me bring on new hosts that I can pay. It helps me get better editing material and lights and everything that I need, microphones. But anyway, what am I trying to say today? I'm channeling a hell of a lot of stuff. It's coming through me all the time. The messages are loud and clear. There is a huge light that we can come from the dark into. There is a huge light that is coming from around us. You need to protect yourself. So I'm gonna ask this transmission now to be protected by, by Mark Angel. Well, by Mark Angel, you know what I mean. By Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael to protect us and all our loved ones with a beautiful halo of light and protection. I'm going to ask Mitchell to be protected and all the people that have the guts, John Wedger, all these amazing people, Liz Crocan, that are going out there to save the children and to highlight the darkness, see the torches that they've been trying to do for years and years, but only now, because of the lockdown, have people got time to watch them, to listen, 
and praying that people are listening to the truth. So ask Archangel Michael to protect us all. Beautiful. To ask Raphael, which is in Hebrew means to heal us all. Raphael is to heal. Medicine used to be about keeping you well. It isn't anymore. You need to be your own doctor. And to ask Chamiel, which is mercy, to bring mercy on all of us and to bring mercy so that we can learn the truth and protect ourselves. To ask the angel Raziel, Razmi. as I was saying, Raziel means secrets. And of course, we're asking for Angel Raziel to be here, to uncover the secrets, to unveil the apocalypse is unveiling everything. All the secrets are now shown. So to those of us who are unveiling the secrets, we ask Angel Raziel to protect us. Gabriel, Gabriel, courage, voir, courage, to protect us with courage to do our work, to go out there and not be afraid to do our work. Michael, Michael, it is love of protection to protect us all and our families, all the light workers, all the indigos and crystals to go out and do our work, to bring us together in love. So we stop cl uh, clashing, we unite. Angel Raphael, the angel of healing, Rifua, medicine, the rape means to heal. Rofe means doctor, doctor used to be a healer. Not so much these days unfortunately, to uncover those doctors that are not doing their jobs, being the healers. In the Far East, it used to be that you would go to your doctor and you would only pay that doctor to keep you well, not to make you sick. If you got sick, the doctor never got paid. End of. And that's how doctors should have been. So I'm asking for all this protection around us. I'm asking for the violet flame of love and protection to shield us in the violet flame. Come violet flame and raise and raise and raise. Come violet flame to blaze and blaze and blaze. The earth and all, the earth and all. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am that I am. I am that I am. Violet flame come forth. Shield me now in violet flame, Saint Germain. Shield me now. And that's what we're asking for. In order to go from the darkness into the light of the awakening. I have to go to bed soon because I've got an interview at 8 a.m. in the morning and because I'm not sleeping at night, I decided to go to bed at 7 p.m. tonight, which is only another hour to do this program I committed. This is program number 14. This is the 14th transmission of The Awakening. Today I'm going to delve into the darkness and give you some information that you need to know. Veganism. Have you never ever questioned why the government and the media were pushing veganism? Hmm? Right? Anything that lot push, <laughs> veganary, you name it, isn't because they love animals or you. There's always a nefarious, sinister message behind it. If they push anything, 
it's because it makes more money for them or it puts you in a situation of vulnerability, which is what they want. So please, you need to wake up. This is the darkness that I'm going to take you from into the light. The veganism, the darkness, the veganism that they push on you, the government and the media is not healthy. It's not real veganism. This is what I channel today. They don't care about animals. They love slaughtering our animals. They don't care about you and your health. They want to destroy your mind. Because you, when you destroy the mind, you cannot heal anything. Everything starts with the mind. Whether you believe in A Course in Miracles that tells us that the mind of God, the mind of love is your wisdom and your awakening and watching others as mirrors, it all starts with the mind. The minute you get the mind, you can heal everything. You can release the past. You can come out of it into your glory it all starts with the mind and they want to destroy your mind so the veganism that is being pushed they want to destroy your brains your mind your capacity to think you only think that much you could think that much that's what we're trying to learn now is to think that much how can we live longer lives healthy lives not need to get dementia and alzheimer's all the things they taught you the darkness did not resonate with me. I could not work in that atmosphere. Every time they brought us together to teach us about dementia, you had staff members going home and starting to notice it in their families. But that's what they want. They want to numb this, the brain, the, the mind, because it controls everything, everything. You cannot get well until you've mastered the mind okay once you master the mind the body will follow and you will create the healthy body but they want to destroy your minds first now veganary and all that shit and they threw out there about veganism the food that they sell you it's packed full of crap full of sugar full of gluten full of chemicals it may not have meat in it but it's got other stuff, very, very dangerous stuff that will destroy your minds. Sugar, aspartum, chemicals. One of the reasons I couldn't work in that home, these homes is because they give the residents who have got dementia, whether they have or not, that's a big debate, and they would give them drinks packed full of aspartum, which causes, you guessed, dementia and Alzheimer's. The vegan stuff that they sell in the shops is packed full of rubbish. Not all of it. There is good stuff. You just need to check the labeling. The real veganism is getting everything from Mother Earth, salads and fruit, and making your own. Making your own meals without SLS, without chemicals, without parabens, without aspartam, without saccharin, without sugar, without gluten, without all the rubbish that they put into your food. You can check the labels, go on Google and check what these labels are. I learned years and years ago, thanks to Philip Day and the Campaign for Truth and Medicine, that the chemicals they put into your food and on the products that you put on your body, you can use to clean a garage floor than that strong. They wipe your organs clean. They destroy your mind. Kill your brain and your brain cells. Okay? So you need to understand that. The other thing is oxygen. When I was having oxygen for grief, the first side effect of oxygen, the first time I had oxygen, it cleared my head. And I was able to... Uh, distance myself from grief. It was like there was a distance between me and the suffering. I felt free of it. And that happened straight after one hour of oxygen, direct oxygen through the MS 
center in Reading, wherever I went. Oxygen heals the brain, and then the brain heals the body. Okay? So that's what I want to tell you today. Please be careful of the veganary stuff, the vegan stuff that they put out there. It is not real veganism. It is not good for you. It probably is not gluten-free. And if you've got gluten-free allergies and suffer from irritable bowel syndrome, I can heal you. I healed mine. I know how to heal it. And gluten sticks your guts together. And it loads of vegan stuff. And before this happened, I was looking into why are they bringing out all this vegan stuff with gluten in it? It's not for people with gluten-free allergies. You need to understand that. It made me very angry because I couldn't eat anything that they were bringing out. But luckily, because everything that's sold to you, the public, as vegan, it's not if it's coming from the media and big companies, it's not good for you. If it's coming from small providers, people with hearts that will tell you this. And you can find lots of them on here. If it's coming from here, from the heart, and they're selling it from the heart, and I'll probably bring someone on to talk to you about that, maybe Kafira. But you need to understand that. Maybe I might do an interview with her and bring her on. So that's my message for today. The darkness is the veganism that they're selling is bad for you. It will make your brain, it will kill your brain cells. There's no oxygen in it. It's packed full of rubbish. The, and the lightness, the light is, do your research. Do your research. There's good and not so good people out there that are not really coming from here. I actually had a very nasty message from someone who sells cannabis to heal. Said she's an angel healer. <laughs> She wants the needle and she doesn't care if I don't want it. She doesn't care about this mandatory thing. Now to me, that is not an angel, that is something else. And what kind of cannabis is this person selling? You need to be very aware if people have not coming from the heart and they don't love you and they're not prepared to even listen and come to a compromise, don't go near their products, guys because God knows what their products are. Her name is Amanda Roberts, and she's from New Zealand. And she sells cannabis. Be very wary of whatever she is selling. That person does not have any love in them. They're full of fear. And so the cannabis that they are promoting, I would not recommend to anyone. I'm telling you that now. And I will put this out there in my tags to warn you, because my job is to warn people you take care of yourself. Anyway, let's have a look at a card, how to stay sane in a crazy world. Because after this, I'm putting the awakening on YouTube and I'm going to bed. <laughs> so let's see, what have we got? How to stay sane in a crazy world for you guys. People say I should go back to being the brunette I am or the redhead. I can't. Because all my beautiful promo pictures are blonde. I quite like being blonde as well. So that's where you have wigs. <laughs> wigs are good. <laughs> but yes, this is my natural color. More or less. Right. Brunette. Okay, let's see what we've got today. Help someone. Help someone. I hope what I'm doing is helping you guys. I will be kind to someone. I will let go of my pain and sorrow for a short time and focus on someone worse off than me. I learned, as I'm very narcissistic, to support someone else in the community that's helped me so much. If you chose this card and you're like me, then brilliant. If you chose it because you are the opposite, well then, help yourself instead. You know who you are, I trust your judgment. If you are too giving to the point that it's harming you, please choose another card. Today, if I tend to focus too much on myself, 
I will focus on someone else and give them some compassion. Zoom is going very strange today. It's slowing down everything. Help someone. So I'm going to cut it short. But I love you. Take care. Welcome to the awakening. Spread this everywhere. Peace. Namaste.